Uh, join us live tomorrow night for the Dallas Mavericks Portland Trailblazers post game show. Uh, it's gonna be a snooze fest on that post game show tomorrow night live on our YouTube trying. page BFB DFW. What's that? Playing while you're trying. Well, yeah, <laughs> we have an obligation to the people yes, to do this post game show. Uh, yep. Yeah, so live tomorrow night, BFB Mavs versus Trailblazers post game show live on our YouTube page BFB DFW. Go over there and subscribe now. Um, this is our new segment where basically we call out people for the wrongdoings. Uh, tell them hashtag ought to be ashamed. Of did themselves. You ought to be ashamed in the beginning when you said the Mavericks were going to be 50. And we already dealt with that. You made your public apologies. Yeah, I did that part right. Um, but tonight, um, once again, I'll kick this thing off. Um, as you see, to the left of me, it's a blank spot right here because our shams is not here tonight. Because oh, I thought she got the curse of the our fourth host. No, she <laughs> she went uh, she went uh, parading. At a Jasmine Sullivan concert tonight, and it looks like Jasmine Sullivan has let her down. And I just need to call out Jasmine Sullivan, letting her hashtag she ought to be ashamed of herself because apparently, according to Shams, Jasmine Sullivan has lost her voice. Why is that her in fault? the middle of this con- in the middle of this concert? And uh, it's gotten bad. A situation is developing. She's crying on stage, and uh, so I also want to throw Shams in there too because I told her she sh- she ought to be ashamed of her. hashtag ought to be ashamed of herself for ditching us. They go hang out and bopping at the uh, Jasmine Sullivan concert. Well, I agree with that part. Yeah. Uh, one, I don't know what she gets. I really don't know who Jasmine Sullivan is. Oh, God. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, yeah hashtag, hashtag ought to be ashamed of yourself. EA doesn't know uh, who Jasmine Sullivan is. I really don't care. But second of all, why are you uh, getting on her? Why should she be ashamed? That's not her fault. She lost her voice. Yeah, well, you have. It's more. It's, so it's more a shot at. This is more of a shot at Shams for oh, ditching us. Yeah, Shams for ditching us. No, I to feel, go hang out with Jasmine Sullivan. No, I think it's. But no, but that's the karma. Um, it's a man bashing no, concert. No, but oh, the, definitely. But <laughs> no, but it's karma <laughs> against Shams because she missed her show. Yeah, yeah. And so now she's getting what she deserves. Yeah, at the concert. yeah exactly. <laughs> Had she been here in the studio, she wouldn't have to worry about right. that. She saved her money. Uh, all that. You don't have to waste your money on a random R and B singer that I've never heard of. Boss, you got something you you want to throw out there? I got one that's personal, but I'm gonna leave that one. I'll leave that one. I'll leave that one be. But oh no, uh, there's a local team here in the DFW area oh, no. that um, that really needs to get on the winning track before they basically get ousted and are right now currently looking um, outside inward to the playoffs and. Pretty much with a really, really good team, a few good lineups within that team, and they can't get over the hump right oh, now. No, had, had a chance to win it tonight. Oh no! Just find themselves uh, losing four games to three, but Dallas Stars. Oh hell, yeah, stop! You got to be ashamed of yourself <laughs> oh, no. for not winning tonight and defending home ice. Oh. And now we got to look forward to another nine games at home in the AAC. But I mean, just keep pushing. Hashtag, I mean, hashtag Texas. I hockey. mean, they still got a chance to keep it. Gotta win tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, yeah. damn you, Dallas Stars. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. I got Up one. there losing, losing like that. I got one. Yeah, go ahead. Hashtag, you ought to be ashamed of yourself for not wishing me a happy birthday. Mm. Anybody out there? <coughs> Chat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, and all the other people. I just got ashamed. This is my birthday. It's a national holiday. Nobody cares about your birthday. I know, I know. But no, but I'm using this as a thing to say I do thank everybody else for their birthday wishes and everything. It felt great. I'm 33. And honestly, I'm ashamed at Father Time for making me this old. Like, it sucks being old. You're 33. It's different. I just want to say, no, it feels different. You know, birthday, uh, 10 years ago, birthday was awesome. You, 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 you're going to go hit the town. You're going to go get wild, do whatever you need to do. There was a big event plan, right? This one was like, last second, you want to go out to dinner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I bored. Like, I'm bored. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, it's my birthday. Oh, yeah. Let's go out to dinner. You know who was birthday. more excited about my birthday? Mazi. Yeah. He yeah. was like, he goes, it's your birthday. He brought me a card. Yeah. He made sure I had a cake. He, uh, yeah. This guy here, he's he, he was on top of it. He's on top of everybody else. Of himself. Come on. Uh, um, hashtag ought to be ashamed of yourself. Uh, North Carolina, I didn't forget about you. You ought to be ashamed of yourself up there losing that game. By 16 <laughs> point lead. 16 point lead. I'm up in and the I, hold on, time I'm up, up in the AAC, uh, showing Bobby Lash some love, getting the score update. And I'm thinking, oh, well, Kansas got, uh, I'm sorry, well, North Carolina got this. And I get home, all I hear is I turn on the TV and Charles Bark, like, what a great comeback. I'm like, what do you mean a great comeback? And I watch the highlights, I'm like, North Carolina, you ought to be ashamed. First, you did it in ba- with Baylor here at the uh, Dickies Arena. 
you almost you almost uh, lost that you lost that lead. I just want to say this. I called it on our last show. I said it. I said Kansas is going to win it all. You said no. Villanova was going to win. I just called Villanova should have won it all. Uh, Kansas won. Sorry. Sorry, Shams. She was going for North Carolina. I don't care anymore. I told you Kansas is going to win. You all should be ashamed. Yeah. But can we talk about the biggest <laughs> shame? What's that? That you and uh, uh, I'm going to just ex expand on it right now. You two should be ashamed that you wasted all your time and money on <laughs> something so fake and so <laughs> dull. With WrestleMania, man, we had a good time. We had a good time on Monday night, man. We had a real. I kept seeing all the little things, and I was like, "What are you guys so excited about?" I tell you what, though, a WWE two days. And apparently, apparently, WrestleMania wasn't that great either. Stone Cold sucked on the or on the stunner. Listen, like it didn't. It was the worst stunner. Now that was the Vince McMahon one, but listen, yeah, it wasn't that the worst stunner in history. He he's done two worst stunners. The very first stunner Stone Cold did was worse, but now this one was. But speaking of that, real quick. I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin will forever be my favorite wrestler. But I don't want to see him take another bump um, as long as I live. He's done. Yeah, man. He looked it's not bad. He looked old. And when he tried to when he delivered the stunner to Kevin Owens on Saturday night, I was like, oh man, my guy can't do it like he used to. Like he used to have a lot of look with the stunner. Now it was just like taking the leg up. He got it up, but it was like turning around and dropping down. It was like, oh no. He used to deliver that thing with such pizzazz. So is it me or is it? And, and tell me. <laughs> oh no, I know you saw it. I know you saw it. <laughs> you and I feel like this is a problem with wrestling today. Your stars, the current ones, yeah, aren't, they're not big enough. Well, on their only own one is draw, only one is right. Well, and, actually, two, two, two. two. Well, that, the problem is you keep having to bring these old outside, guys, older yeah, guys man. from the generation. But Mind you gotta you, understand. You gotta understand. This is Texas. Of course, they had to break. Stone I, Cold. I got, I and got they, that. And they had the Undertaker. But, but like the idea of it is like, okay, so Stone Cold Steve Austin's heyday was when I was in freaking third or fourth grade. I remember wearing Stone Cold Steve Austin stuff. The Rock was big in, around that time. I remember he's coming back next year. His first movie role was in 1999 with The Mummy Returns. So imagine that, and yet you're still bringing those guys in. And there was a rumor that The Rock would have showed up. The idea that, that the biggest the highlight rock, the rock for and roll wrestling's ring. biggest show is guys from the 1990s. Come on. Well, The Rock is actually next year going to be wrestling his cousin, Roman Reigns. Why? They're related for one, right? They're related, they're okay, related for but one. Who cares? Be actually, that, that's him, actually a big one. No. Let, that's like when The Rock fought Hulk Hogan. But let him, let, they're retired. That's like bringing Romo and uh, well, Aikman back. The Rock's technically not retired. Now, Austin was retired, but... You can't you can't come to Texas and not have Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania. Where's WrestleMania next year? LA. LA. Okay. Yeah, it's SoFi. It's SoFi. SoFi and SoFi. And that's when they're gonna. And have what is, can I ask you a question? I sound dumb. Is WrestleMania like your championship game? Is there Super Bowl? It's like the Super Bowl, right? It's like the Super Bowl. That, that state. What I said, what I said on uh, on Monday, I was like, well. Just teaming up with the Super Bowl, and wherever the Super Bowl goes, you bring WrestleMania right behind it and award each city for being actually awesome. And it's like, you know what, Vegas, if you got the Super Bowl, you're you're a good damn city. And here's WrestleMania right behind it. So uh, in February and in April, two months apart, that's all you gotta do. Um, Keep in rotation. By the way, you talking about this whole scripted thing, and I'm like, you watch, you go to movies and watch movies, so it's the same thing. I know it's. Oh my god! Listen, you guys, do, no, I guess, and you watch it twice, right? Three, three, three times. times. Oh, guys, I can't make the show tonight. I gotta go watch Batman. I seen the, Spider Man do this here and do this here, and he uh, saved Mary Jane. I might have to. I might have to like not come to Thursday in May 6th, the Doc Strange 2. Doc Strange 2 is coming out. Right, right. Scripted well, movie. it's not my fault we scheduled these shows on the day the the, the, the first night come out. Come on. So, also, uh, hashtag gotta be ashamed. I gotta call, speaking of WrestleMania, I gotta call some people out. Okay? Oh, God. I have to do this. Okay. Do it. Um, I went to the convention center because I wanted to get me a Dallas 316 shirt, Ooh. an Austin 316 shirt, and a, 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 let me call you out too. Everybody that bought one of them shirts, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You didn't leave me one. Why don't you get the earlier? Yeah, exactly. But uh, you know, you know, you know those Comic Cons and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah. So I guess this at the convention center was like wrestling con or something. Access, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. fan access. Mm -hmm. Big event. So I saw grown men like me, you, Tobosh, in there dressed up like freaking wrestlers, like they. We're going to be in the show uh, Monday night. I saw a dude dressed down as the Undertaker. I saw a dude uh, dressed down as Roman Reigns. He's walking around with a title belt and Roman Reigns uh, 
glove on. I saw a Charlotte. I saw, I saw a Charlotte Flair uh, dress down. I saw a Sasha Banks. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, cat. Yeah, I saw Sasha Banks. I, I I saw so many people dressed up as oh, the 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 most infamous one. Oh, I saw Naomi, the most famous one, and I had to call this dude out. This dude was dressed up just like Kevin Owens. And when I say dressed up like Kevin Owens, he had Kevin Owens effing kick pads on. I get it. If you're gonna wear not the kick pads, man, that's going too far. You know they were all. What was the show on uh, Saturday? It was it NXT? Yeah, no, okay, that was yeah, just yeah. standing and delivered. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. The yeah, yeah. So I saw because I went to go to work to the studio, and they're all around me, and then these people were wearing uh, Austin, your Austin three one and Dallas, but then these guys had two belts. I mean, they Bell, got belts. Yeah. They coming in there with belts on this arm, this arm, around the waist, and I'm like, you didn't just wrestle. Well, They've got WWE. I mean, this. this one but then they would argue about the guys who wear jerseys. I guess. Not even close. No, no. This is same? close to being basically cosplay. Yes, bro. This Which I don't. You said they ought to be ashamed of themselves. They ought to be ashamed. I did see a. Uh, I did see a Stone Cold dude walking around, bro. He had the exact <laughs> oh, oh, same wait, 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 outfit. Wait. I on. saw a guy with. Uh, he was dressed as a Rock. He had the Rock's uh, five hundred dollars <laughs> shirt on. Oh, no. Opened up with the Rock sunglasses. Uh, and he had the sideburns on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a good bit. I, yeah, I, 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 hold on, man. I, listen, I, I, I get kids doing it, but not forty-year-old me. Dude, dude, we were kids when this came out. Okay, like, I we, get it. We have waited thirty years for this moment. Oh my god! If I went out to that shit, best believe I'd be dressed up in a something. Who, who, who would you be dressed as? I don't know. Who do you think I should be? I, I, I see. I see her as a. Uh, maybe Alexa Bliss. I was gonna say Bailey. What, what, or she, Bailey, well, ba Bailey, Bailey wears the leggings. Well, I don't know. Cat would have to dye her hair. And then she goes pigtails. Yeah. She goes with the pigtails. Alexa hair. Bliss does, but no, I can see Bailey more if anything. Who were the twins? Oh, the Bella oh, twins. The They're not there anymore. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's oh. another one. I, those are another ones I saw. I had I saw two Bella twins. I'll give Russ on this. You guys some very very attractive uh, female mm. wrestlers. Oh my god, I had to call this other little, little honey out. Oh, oh my god, what would you do? Po baby. Um, Bianca Belair. What's wrong with her? She had the. She was trying to be Bianca. Belair. She had the saddest little ponytail. Oh, that no. she. Yeah, she had the saddest little ponytail. Little baby was trying so hard. How old was she? She was grown. She was grown. She was probably about twenty something years old. Yeah, she, she couldn't come out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you know, so there was a point. I, I, I showed the video. There's a point where you can go. <laughs> They'll hit the music or whatever, and let you come out of the entrance. And you could be. You could do any oh, entrance well, that's that you. That's pretty cool. Want. Right. That, that's cool. Okay, so she chose Bianca Belair. And she comes up to the stage, and she's out there doing Bianca, and she's just twirling her little, uh, she's just twirling her little uh, ponytail, and I'm like, po baby, po baby, because Bianca comes out with like that ponytail is pretty much almost three feet of length. Man, it it three feet like feet. It's down to the. It looked like a snake. I thought yeah. it was down to her back. I was like, what are you doing with that snake? I was like, oh, and she man. comes out, she's whipping it, she's whipping her hair back yeah. and forth, like twisting, and she's not. twerking and everything. Uh, um, if you could, if you could do that, which wrestler would you imitate coming? To? It's, it's a like you said, it's, it's a god mode type deal. I mean, this guy walks out here, he just stands and observe, put that belt up. Now he puts up two belts because he got two belts. I think under, I think the Undertaker's. Oh, uh, there was a guy who did the there was a guy who did the Undertaker. His is the slowest. Yeah, his. Is yeah, slowest. but it's it's awesome because it well it gets that music plays the and all that. They yeah. did. There was a guy who did a Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, the glass breaking pretty much is like one of the iconic interests. Just to see that glass breaking that dude run out. What's tell me, what's the rocks? I don't get it. If you smell, so when uh, they when they come out, if you smell, uh, you'll hear the play. You get the crowd pop. No, the, roof, the roof might come off the building if you ever hear it. If you're in a building with that, and you hear that the roof just might come off. If you hear if you smell, it's see, over. I'm telling you right now. We go back in time and had what we had in the nineties when we were like kids. Today, yeah, today, oh, oh my gosh. god, it would be. I don't think it's the same. Anymore. What was that? The uh, my uh, somebody, that, somebody did a Usos entrance. They did a, a Edge, a Hollywood, a Hollywood Hulk. You think Hogan. you know me? Well, oh, congrats to this music right here. No, not the no 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 no. Uh, the, oh, uh, the uh, Voodoo Child. The Voodoo Child. Yeah. Congratulations, Dallas, for another uh, listen. Event. Listen, let me tell you something. WWE, big shout out to WWE. 
they came here and showed up and showed out this weekend. I did not know it was that many wrestling fans in Dallas. There oh, yeah. are a lot of wrestling and fans. And I found out Jerry, who Jerry Jones listens to because he pulled down that curtain for Vince McMahon. <laughs> Don't even get me started with that Hashtag curtain. Hashtag ought to be ashamed of yourself, Jerry. You going to put the curtain down for the uh, WWE show. You can't put that, that for that curtain. That was more of a Vince McMahon WWE thing because in that building, we had no control over the TVs. Yeah, no, nah, that was holding. Yeah. We couldn't watch, you know, we, we couldn't watch wrestling in the clubs. No. We just had to listen and, and pretty much here for our Well, you know, and you know, just like they came, uh, they, they came around, uh, or they put a bulletin up Monday night inside the arena saying that, um, electronics. Yeah, no you know? electronics because, uh, they didn't want people like giving out, giving out the show or telling the Right, because it, it's y'all, are y'all, it's taped and then, uh, uh, like, no, hour, it's live. It's live. It's, it's live. Oh, I think you're ahead. There's a delay. Uh, there's a delay. Right, okay. So, and, uh, like, if, like this one girl down there, she was like doing a video and the, the tin lady come on. She's like, no, no, you got to put that down. Like, you can't, you can't do don't, that. Don't mess with Vince McMahon. And then there was also the, the situation where there was a tag team going on in the ring where it's like, uh, uh, damn, the, the, the women were wrestling. And then they uh they accidentally played the uh the generation. Oh X. yeah. <laughs> in the Are you the, ready? During the match. During the match, we were and like, uh-oh. The girls stop wrestling. And they, they looked up like what the they looked toward the ramp and everybody in the arena looked toward the ramp, but it was nothing playing and nothing you know, nobody coming out. Well, somebody fucked up. And yeah, that, that, that was the champ. That's I, the I'm glad you said that because <laughs> the crowd was shedding. You, you fucked the, up. Yeah, you, you fucked the, up. <laughs> <laughs> we all everybody was looking like what 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 the? Why I was DX like, wait, coming DX coming out doing a women's match, and all of a sudden you, and then it was like, no referee was like, continue, continue, and then there's uh, one dude got a you fucked up, you fucked up, and the whole arena is, you fucked up. So, so I I'm don't. I'm pretty sure they, they they actually edited it out. I'm pretty point. sure that DJ whoever it was. Yeah, I was like, boy, Vincent Man is somewhere pissed. Right he's now. he's killed somebody. Yeah, but big shout out to the WWE. You guys showed up and showed out this weekend. Like, I mean, that that was a good showing for the WWE. Souls. NFL, bring a Super Bowl back here. We can do it. Uh, you make it in April. Just don't make we'll it. A, just don't make it on the snow. <laughs> yeah, have, the last time. Have it in June. We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, baby. So, Vosh, can you tell the people where they can find you at? At Tovash Ten on Twitter. At Tovash Hatcher on Instagram. And this weekend, tomorrow morning at the lake, Lake Tawakani. Whoa, 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 you going fishing tomorrow? Yes, I'll be there. Um, I'm off. I thought you wanted to. Oh, I thought you're gonna be in Texas Live. Uh, Texas Live will be on Monday. Okay. Well, that, well, well, you you might as well get ready, pal, because you got a partner on Monday. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have several. Yeah, you are gonna have a partner on Monday. I'm off on Monday too. So yeah, Monday, uh, hydrate. Be at work. Just letting y'all know. And then uh, on the weekend, FC Dallas, and then maybe uh, Lake Tawakani again after that on Sunday. We'll see. We got Mavericks tomorrow night at AAC, and then we got the Mavericks on Sunday. Night? Yeah, I'll be there. Oh, Why not? Right. I'll be there Sunday. For the last game of the season. Yeah. Spurs, 830 tip. Late game. Well, I don't know why they pushed that back. I don't get that. EA, you yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at EA Sports DFW and uh, for the ladies and the, and the men, I guess. At EA is on 60. Shout out to the LGBT. Uh, I'm, uh, as you know, it's a very holy month, so I cannot partake and take the dark night out and on the streets. So I'm off the streets for the next month. But uh, but don't oh, worry. Are you not outside? No. Oh, man. Religious, holy month. But uh, no, and then uh, just loving to watch the sports people. Uh, you can follow me at uh, Frontrunner88 on Twitter. Watch this on Facebook. You can follow the show. It is business on Twitter. It is business DFW on Facebook. And of course, for the gram, best.for.businessdfw. But most importantly, EA, where can they find us at? YouTube, BFB DFW. Go look for us. Subscribe. And of course, hit the like button. And if you don't, I will personally come down and hunt you down and please and, and plead with you. You want to subscribe because we're going to be having some good stuff yes. going on over there at the. Uh, AAC for the playoffs. We got That's a lot, right. of, lot of guests coming through there. Uh, so you definitely want to tune in for that. But uh, we'll be back next week. Hopefully, Shams can be, uh, will be here to tell us the story of what happened with Jasmine nope. Sullivan on stage. She's uh, she, she chose who she wants to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she can tell us that story, but we'll find out about that. So until then, keep your feet on the ground. Keep reaching for the stars. Always do his best for business. And if we don't see you around, then we will see you around. <laughs>